Um, all right. Anyone want to talk about some of the basic ground rules of of mobbing or ensemble? So um, I've seen teams who try to start doing ensemble programming or mob programming on their own. And uh, you know, some of them figured it out well, but what we want to make sure is people don't leave this talk thinking that it's kind of a free for all. Uh, we're all just going to get a room into a room and swarm on something. And uh, that's mob programming. Uh, we do need a little bit of sanity in the mix. So there are, I'd say, two core rules or ways that we want to make sure we're working. So the first thought is we want to make sure everybody's engaged in part of this. So we have two primary roles that we call drivers and navigators. Uh, the driver is someone at the keyboard. They are listening to the rest of the group, the mob, if you will, or the ensemble. And the rest of the mob is responsible for stepping that person through, through that person at the keyboard. So your job, if you're at the keyboard, is to translate. Listen for what the team is saying we want to build next and turn it into computer code. Uh, that role rotates so, uh, pretty quickly, too. So we're talking maybe between every five and ten minutes, maybe even less time. I've been in teams where we did this every two minutes or three minutes, which was kind of insane, but we actually got a lot done. Uh, so every two to three or five or 10 minutes, we switch roles, switch the driver out. They become part of the rest of the mob and then someone else takes the role. So this helps with a few things. Again, it helps keep everybody engaged. It also means that if you're on point, first off, uh, you're only going to be there for a few minutes. So maybe it's not going to be as uh, fearful as you might imagine. Secondly, you're, when you're the one at the keyboard, you're actually the only one in the room not expected to be coming up with the answers. Everybody else is helping you come up with the answers your job again is to translate. So it helps people. Uh, I, just a real brief story. Uh, I helped a team ramp up on mob programming and there was one person in particular, she was very fearful of this. Um, we kind of explained the rules and worked through it. After about a week of this, she was a huge champion of it. She actually loved the fact uh, that it allowed her to contribute in both ways and as well ramp up the technical skills that she had while at the keyboard. Uh, so that's the, basically the two primary rules in here. Uh, we'll put a timer on a team initially so that it is a fixed five minutes. Five minute timer goes off. We switch out the driver and the next person comes into play. After a while, that might not be necessary for some teams, although I see some advanced teams still stick with the timer. Uh, so I'll let someone else talk about the law of mobility. Well, I, I already gave an example of it in a sense. We were working on a thing where we had... Uh, we have an Android thing, na Android native, and it's a dual display thing. And we had to figure out how to get the second display working. And um, I had just joined the team. And I, I, I've done some Android development, blah, blah, blah. But I really didn't have the details. And a lot of ideas were going around. And I, I'm a bit ADHD. And it was just like a lot of conversation and not actually. And so I was like, I'm going to need to take a break. I took a step. I went through a tutorial, came up with a basic app, managed to get some of the stuff implemented in the basic app, worked with somebody else figured out how to do it right. We figured out how to move it into the app. And we did that a couple of times. Um, so uh, in my case, I was with the mob. I went away from the mob because the way it was working, because we lacked any kind of direction, just it, we just didn't have something. Um, um, in the Satir change model, we were in chaos. We didn't have any good ideas. And I also was so confused that even if there was a good idea, I wasn't in a position to understand it. So I took a step back, educated myself, and then came back into the group. Um, and that happens. I mean, it just sometimes you 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 have an idea. And it's like I got to do this, but but the thing about mobility, you can leave and come back or whatever. But but there's an underlying principle. We try to have at least two people involved in every line of code that goes into production. So if you go off and do do something on your own, the cost is you have to come back and integrate with people. But sometimes that's the right thing to do. Right. Or sometimes it's like go to a different group because I'm, I'm not into this. Uh, I, I don't have the context and they're deep in something. And and I, I don't really want to get into this right now. We have some complicated features in our application and you have to like be into it if you want to really be into it. Complicated data structures and such. Well, and your your explanation sort of points exactly to what we what I was kind of talking about with the uh, with the Woody Zool quote and that that it's it's not everybody staring at the screen and typing code all the time, you know, it's, it's, you have the driver, you have some people that are, that are helping that driver to, to put the code into the computer, but then you have people who are 
you know, looking up things in the background, getting things ready. You know, uh, um, I'm going to I'm going to write this SQL uh, statement on my or this query on my computer. And then when it's time to put that into the code, I'm going to tell everybody. Right. I'm going to go like you did. Uh, we're going to go figure this out. We'll be right back. We'll come back with something that we can integrate. Right. It's 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 everybody working together, yep. but not necessarily sitting around and waiting to type code. And I think that works really well remotely also, right? Because we're in different time zones, because we're all, you know, not in the same place, it's okay if I have to step away, if I, you know, if, uh, if I take lunch, as long as there are other people that are still, uh, you know, there to keep working, they can keep working. I can come back from lunch or the doctor or whatever I'm, I'm doing and, and pick up right where we left off you know, might take me a minute or three or five to kind of catch up to like, oh, you guys were able to finish this well, while I was out, but I can keep going. And that, then someone else can step away or we can integrate, you know, across the world. You, you're waking up and, and I'm, you know, it's afternoon or evening for me and we'll spend some time doing some programming together and then I'll drop off and you'll keep going. It's, it's really quite fabulous.